This video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. They have code cards from a huge variety of sets, so definitely check it out, PotownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How cool is that? What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG video on my channel. This is the Bochum Regionals video, so uh, if you're up for some crazy German action, you're gonna see it in this video. We're gonna be playing trading card game all day long and I'll be uh, actually showcasing what I'm capable of. I'll be playing Babe Blacephalon uh, as usual. It's been treating me very well this season. I already got like uh, more than half of my championship points were from that deck alone. And uh, I'm gonna try and vlog the entire event so you guys won't miss a thing. This is the first time that we actually booked a, yeah, a hotel instead of a hostel or Airbnb because uh, we definitely want to have like uh, plenty of rest, plenty of testing. And as you can see here, we have a plasma screen right there. We have candy on our uh, beds, which is uh, the first time ever, like very fancy. There's even a sauna in this uh, particular hotel, which is fantastic. And we have separate beds, so sleeping won't be a problem. Uh, we're actually gonna test in the, the meanwhile here, since we uh, have a couple of hours to kill before we are gonna take uh, yeah, the bed here. So uh, yeah, sleep won't be a problem. And we still have them plenty of time for testing, which is gonna be fantastic. So I'll keep you guys posted about the entire tournament. Arne is also back uh, uh, to join us with his uh, Pidgeotto control. So hopefully he can uh, showcase everybody that the deck is still capable of destroying uh, the meta if it uh, works works out. Anyhow, see you guys in a couple of minutes. Okay, the night before. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about Tina Chomp? Tina Chomp is a good card, but Roxy Chomp is <laughs> trash. <laughs> oh, weird scenario. Yeah, against Guardian with uh, ta Dragon Charms. Okay, round number one is done from the Bahan Regionals. I was up against uh, Piotr Orlandis and uh, he was playing, yeah, the, 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 the Nagacha, Ultra Beast kind of style. Yeah. How, how do you call the deck? Sorry? What, do you, what would you call the deck? Uh, Naga Checkmate, I think, is the most common name for it. Xander Perro played that style of deck for the first time at Nashville Open. He won it, one of the flights. And I think it's kind of how the deck could, can evolve with the, uh, with the new format. Yeah, I, I saw that the, the Guzman Hala helped you a lot to get that triple accelerated energy on the Nagnadal, like second turn using, um, was it Stinger? Very, very scary. And the um, thing I also noticed is that this list ran a lot of different Ultra Beasts. How many are there? They're like Buzzwall, Buzzmosa. Yeah, it's like four four line of Naganalo with yeah. three drawing ones and one Stinger. And it has uh, six additional Ultra Beasts. So the Baby Naganado, which is good against Mewtwo. Like Baby Buzzwall, the grass one, which is good against Kogu. Yeah. And then stuff like the Psychic Bl Blatzephalon, yeah. uh, Ligo, uh, and two Tag Teams, which is great synergy with... Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. We yeah. Yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, it was nice meeting you, Colin, and uh, I will see you in uh, the next round, maybe. Uh, next tournament. I yeah. have fun. 
Yeah, looks like the judges are collecting the match slips very quickly so the tournament can go smoothly. But uh, just to have a little summary, I won against Piotr 2-0. Uh, uh, the first round was very intense uh, up to the last prize car where he like uh, used Stinger and then I had to s he stabbed me as well to three cards and uh, I had to find like my green which I uh, fortunately I did so uh, and then game number two he went really aggressive got the f uh, second turn Stinger because uh, there was only six minutes left on the clock so uh, playing against those Naga check uh, made decks really uh, yeah takes it its time on the on the toll uh, actually uh, on the timer here yeah and uh, also people are playing like uh, these uh, boots here with the pocket and all that stuff. VGC is also uh, part of the tournament here. First time Sword and Shield meta. I wonder what that is, the VGC. Never played VGC, but it could be interesting. And uh, yeah, a very uh, nice match against Piotr, just to say the least. Awesome. One win so far. Match number two is done. I was up against Matteo Juani. Hey. Uh, yeah, and uh, he played. I play Malamar. Malamar. Uh, yeah, it's Malamar and uh, the big friends. Because it's different that they play Malamar. Because they've. Uh, yeah. This different type. Oh, you even yeah, the, yeah. the tag version one. And who beat this yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, Why yeah. couldn't you start with because, that one? Because this, they change my, my. This is the change my mm, personal change. Yeah, like, yeah I like because it. this is good yeah. for Pigeon yeah. and uh, Malamar. Okay. Mirror. Yeah, this is good for IDP and the lattice is good for IDP. Giratina is but good Six. for uh, the one hit KOs. big yeah, yeah one hand KO the, and Malamar. Oh, you still Espeon still play SP on the Axis. I, I was not thinking about that. So. Yeah, I play this because yeah. it's a different GX attack, yeah. different attack to biggest, yeah. and uh, I like it. I testing to this deck to three months. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit how both matches went? What? Can you tell me a little bit how both matches went? Both the match was. Well, how, how they how they went? Um, how they proceeded the games? Both games. Can you tell me a little bit how they went? Oh, um, I don't know because the the deck is the. You know where is the deck Malamar, no? Yeah, and yeah. Uh, you don't uh, have the card, yeah. and deck don't taste good. Yeah, uh, and uh, I'm, in my practice. Sorry, but uh, my English is very. Sh yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> is this possible shit? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. But the thing I want to say is that with Malamar is that we can see that they don't plan that play reset stamp. So that is a very huge part of the uh, game plan of me because I just hoard a lot of cards, use heat yeah, factory, no, no, acro bike, and I have like no, a hand of like 20 uh, cards. Don't so play the stamp. Yeah. Because uh, I, I don't like it. Because uh, I, go, I love uh, for aggressive. Deck. Aggressive. Like that. Yeah. Because uh, oh, you win or oh, I win. Yeah, and uh, game one went cool because uh, we both whiffed on supporter yeah. turn one, and yeah, game yeah. number two, uh, we actually, I actually lost thanks to the crazy play of Bay One energy. And the I funny lost. thing is that Blasphalon, the psychic one, okay. killed my Blasphalon, which is very funny. Yeah. But I love playing against you, Mateo, yeah. and I wish you very uh, yeah, much of fun oh. for the rest of the rounds, man. Nice to meet you. All right, what can we say about Malamar? Uh, the first game I won, which is very nice, but we both had brickish starts, as you can see by the interview. And uh, also, uh, game number two, he just surprised me with baby Blacephalon out of nowhere with uh, distortion doors everywhere and the spell tech activation and all that. And actually got rid of my attackers, and uh, that actually did not help out a lot. So uh, I actually lost that one, and then there was not enough time left to play game three. So uh, we ended with a tie. So one win, one tie so far. Okay, okay, round number three was done. I was up against Vinny from the Netherlands yes, and he was playing. Ta -ta 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 -ta. It was Malamar, yeah. Uh, it was a very close first game that actually yeah, took yeah. like 40 minutes and uh, he actually came out on top just to get his last Pokemon, his Dutch North Tell me a little bit how the, the match went for you. Um, it, was, uh, it was a nice game for me, uh, I think for you also. Um, you got to play your game. But in the end, it was really tricky because I had two options in the end, and it was like, um, uh, yeah, guessing and a little bit of gambling, and I, I just got lucky in the end. Yeah, but yeah, well yeah. deserved. So you got out on top, and uh, we actually did not play the second game because there's only four minutes left, and uh, with Malamar you cannot play a game in four minutes. So you uh, deserve this win, and uh, I wish you the best of luck for your next round, man. Thank you. The same you. to you too. Bye. Okay, round number four is done. I was up against. Um, Zold Pop, yeah, from Hungary. Zold Pop. <laughs> exactly, yeah. And uh, he was playing uh, Big Blasaflan with the Pijolo build. Can you tell me a little bit how both games went? Actually, three games, yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I don't understand one word. Uh, <laughs> just uh, talk a little bit uh, about the games we had. Uh, we have, uh, uh, 
first match, uh, uh, I I won. Yeah, you done and me really well. I only yes, have to uh, be, because my opponent is uh, brigged yeah. and don't have uh, more uh, Pokemon on the bench. Yeah, more Pokemon on the bench. And the uh, last two matches are uh, very funny yeah. because uh, the second one I make make the very big mistake. So I uh, uh, said play round two. And the third game when my opponent uh, uh, knocked out my first Pokemon and uh, he had five pies. I know I lost just the uh, play for fun. Yeah, it was really fun because uh, I used like a play where I used Victini. Afterwards you used Victini. Yes, yes, then I used B-string and then you used B-string. So it was like watching it in a mirror. Uh, uh, this match was uh, exactly exactly a mirror match yeah. <laughs> because we always uh, 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 made the same plays, moves. Yeah. It was really fun meeting you and I wish you the best of luck for the rest of the rounds, man. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, I uh, snatched myself uh, another victory, which is very, very nice because it was against uh, Bird's Blacephalon. So, baby Bird Blacephalon with Pidgeotto, and uh, that is a matchup I know very well because typically the Greens build of Baby Blacephalon is faster, and that is actually uh, what happened. Game one, I got dunked, so I was not feeling too well because I'm at the score at 1 1 1, and then losing that round is like, ah, and then I uh, managed to win the other two rounds. So, uh, this was uh, round number four, and I'm right now at two wins, one loss, and a tie. Let's see if we will. Uh, be able to make it. Okay, round number five concluded. I was up against Max Gies from Germany and he was playing. Lacephalon, Pidgeys. Yes, tell me a little bit how uh, both games went. Oh, um, both games are, are for you. Uh, you win both games. And now. Uh, no Weldor in the last match, no, no luck no, nothing. in the, <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing in the matches. The pitches draw nothing, yeah. what can I say? No Wiktini, uh, no Blacephalon GX. Yeah, match no number one was quite close. It was like one prize, one prize, one prize, one prize. And uh, I just managed to win with Blacephalon GX. Yeah, nice move. Yeah. And uh, game number two was uh, just insanely bad luck for you. I've never seen anything like Scoop. it. Scoop. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the weekend, man. Nice to my friend. Bye. <laughs> Okay, I'm slowly but steadily uh, getting some more wins here. So it actually was very hard. Uh, yeah, here he is. I catch your P. What, 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 are, what are you playing? Uh, Pidgeot, of course. No. Yeah. What is your standing? 311. 311. I'm 311. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to see. It. Yeah, control X. Yeah, I don't want to face those. So uh, I was. Thanks. I was up against uh, Babel Cephalon with Pijotos again, and uh, this time around he actually got a good setup in game one. I was actually getting afraid a little bit. He also played Blacephalon GX, which just got a little bit of trouble with, of course, Burst GX at the end of the game. And uh, luckily enough, a Blazer went through. Can you believe that? So a Blazer on a Pidgey, bam, get out of here. And uh, yeah, I got myself like 3 1 1 at this point, so everything is still possible. See you guys soon. Next match is done. I was up against Thomas Just from uh, Czech Republic. Uh, he was playing the crazy deck Magnadel Gosdard Miss Magnus. Can you tell me a little bit how, uh, how both games went? Uh, actually, we played three games. Yeah, okay, yeah, three yeah. games. Sorry. But yeah, um, first and third um, were like. I mean, everything was like super, super close, and all the yeah. games were like back and forth. And I think that everybody could have won each, each and single one of them. And yeah, you, you drew really nicely, like with the green, and you had like enough energies to t take out my, my dude. I tried to stamp you to free in, in game three. The first turn, yeah, yeah first game three was insane. Yeah, you yeah. got three Miss Magius out, stamped me to three, and uh, off that green, I actually uh, top that, I think, was. 
it was pretty, it was so, so, something, yeah, yeah, free cars yeah, were yeah, green. Yeah, so I could get a doll and a milk for space. Yeah, yeah. yeah cool. It was, yeah, yeah, I, I hoped you whiff everything and yeah. just, like, If I whiffed, you would have won, but yeah, yeah. luck turned out in my yeah, well, favor. Yeah. But I enjoyed the games, they're really, really nice. So yeah, uh, I wish yeah, you the best of luck for the record round. You too, thank you. Thanks to meeting you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, crazy day, crazy day. Going from 1-1-1 to 4-1-1. So uh, the craziest play I did was using a blazer on the fire energy, <laughs> again, and uh, then using burst jacks on that fire energy. So the combo worked out really well. The good news is that there was like three fire energies priced and uh, I was up against uh, the uh, Guzzler Nagnadel GX and they actually gave me a lot of prize cards so uh, that was actually very insane. Uh, he actually popped three Miss Magius, used the stamp and I just had to pray that I didn't get dunked but uh, it didn't happen so uh, I'm 4-1-1. Uh, okay, round number seven is done. I was up against James Gray from the UK and he was playing uh, I was playing Baby Blanks. Baby Blanks with? Uh, with Pidgey. Yeah. So it's basically the mirror. Basically the mirror, but uh, you have the draw engine with Fijetto, as yeah. with Airmail and Jirachi. Yes. And uh, I use Green. So tell me a little bit how both games went. Uh, so first game I didn't see a welder, and the second game I didn't see a Blown until, <laughs> <laughs> until it was too late. <laughs> That's oh, basically yeah. how it went. Yeah, and I think is that uh, in this particular matchup, I think it is the third uh, Pidgey Blount that I faced, and I won all three of them. Do you think like the green engine is better finding your welder, or is it um, just? Yeah, I think oh. the the thing with greens in any deck is that it, you can just pick whatever you need. Um, whereas if you're just drawing, it's completely based on the look of the draw. There's a lot of draw in this, yeah. but it's have you faced not have you faced any tag teams today? Uh, yes, I have. So. If, uh, um, Faced um, Reshazad, his uh, ability Reshazad. That's so, a good matchup. Uh, it's a very good matchup for yeah. me. I ended up uh, destroying, yeah. destroying him very quickly. Um, faced a couple of Gira Chomp decks, but they they're a bit difficult because they hit my bench for what for numbers yeah, that matter. Blounds, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's quite difficult. Okay, it was nice meeting you, James. Yes, and, uh, yeah, best of luck for the rest of the rounds. Thank you very Have much. a nice weekend. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm on the roll right now uh, with a lot of victories uh, next to each other. And uh, now I'm at 5-1-1, so I need one more win for day two. So I have two winning ins, which makes it a little bit easier. And uh, I can hopefully make it again to day two, and which is uh, actually something I love doing in Germany. That has been treating me so well. And uh, I'll be uh, keeping you guys posted. Baby Blounce was the matchup I... Uh, seen the most with Pidgeys and uh, that seems to be like an automatic win for me apparently so uh, yeah keep your gas posted okay round number eight was done I was up against Jimmy Monk from Denmark yes and uh, tell me a little bit uh, how the matches proceeded and which deck you're playing well I'm playing uh, ADP with uh, yeah with uh, Rosa and uh, the, that list um, so it was uh, two very close games actually so yeah, but uh, you know, he hits the green and he gets these crystals, and uh, that's how it goes. Sometimes I like uh, wait with playing Poke Gears just because I know I'm gonna get stamped, so I save them in the hand. I yeah, think that that's, actually uh, helped out. Definitely yeah, in game one. That's game two was even yeah. closer. I uh, exploded on your ADP after you used Ultra Creation, and then you just went with Keldeo, and uh, you just waited for the reset stamp. Yeah, and I tried I, to put you on one price a yeah. lot of time, but you didn't take those KOs. You tried to get to two prices instead, so yeah, my stamps would be really bad. So. Yeah. It is like yeah. it is. Man. Yeah. I, uh, it was fun playing against you, and I uh, wish you a lot of fun with the rest of the weekend, man. Yeah, you too. Thank you. All right, now we are definitely in uh, day two, which is awesome. Once again, uh, Germany is treating me really well. And uh, the thing I noticed here is that I was up against ADP. I was so tempted to use my Poke Gears, but I said like, no, you don't, Josh, you cannot do that. Just uh, keep them in the hand. So uh, if he resets them, you get the Poke Gear, which happened in game one. Also, uh, I tried to uh, save the Fire Crystals, uh, just using Fire Reflame and B-String. So all my energies are in the discard pile. So I only need Fire uh, fire Crystal to just get the game, which happened in game two. So uh, yeah, 6-1-1. One, one. Uh, yeah, so we're on day two. Stick around. The last round is, uh, has been concluded. I was up against Raz again. Uh, the first time we met, I think it was in Paris? Yeah, in Paris. Yeah, yeah, he demolished me. So I got my revenge, but it was very crazy. Tell me a little bit how both games went. You played Mewtwo. Yeah, so game one. Uh, you stumped me at turn one after like three mulligans? Yeah, three, I think. Three or four. That was a lot. Yeah. And then I got like standard setup with a lot of tackles and charge balls, but you just double captured my Mew Mew. Yeah. 
it was a crazy high roll. I uh, relied on the heat factory the first turn to like build my hand up. I knew with the stamp, so that uh, meant I could have like destroyed two tag teams at once with double custom catchers twice, which is insane. And then game two, what was that? Uh, game two, Ooh. well, I just worked. <laughs> Yeah, it was insane. You had three fires in your hand. Four, four, I think four. Four fires, yeah. He whiffed on supporters. He only had uh, energies in the hand and he only needed tackle. And the funny thing, before like, I donked him, he had tackle uh, on the top of his deck. That's insane, right? Yeah, maybe we'll see each other in day two and uh, you'll have your revenge again on me. Huh? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Good game, man. Thanks. All right, folks, we did it. So uh, another successful round concluded in Europe. I am now 7-1-1, definitely a good position to be in. And day two, we already have uh, experience in day two, but uh, having that extra win will help out a lot to just uh, get my spot, hopefully in top eight, which will be uh, fantastic. So uh, this year has been so amazing. 2020, let's just destroy it. And uh, maybe at the World Championships, I'll be able to prove myself. Just got my world's invite secured, which is fantastic. And uh, yeah, I will keep you guys posted. This is going to be... Uh, I think I will uh, actually upload this video early and afterwards day two will also have a separate video. How about that? So uh, yeah, I wish you guys lots of fun on the rest of your day and uh, thank you for sticking around with me so long in uh, this video. It's been uh, quite a while that uh, we've been uh, yeah, demolishing. So in Paris it will also like first seat. I don't know how I'm going to end today, uh, which seat I'm going to be, but uh, you'll hear about it in tomorrow's video. So definitely subscribe for more content. Smash that like button if you enjoyed it, uh, my journey here. And uh, yeah, Germany and, uh, was uh, the uh, Baham Regionals and uh, day two will be fantastic. I just know it. Hopefully Arne will also be able to uh, make it. He's now yeah, in his uh, win and end. So I wish him the best of luck and maybe we'll uh, be both in day two once again. Anyhow, have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.